So I think if you had a bit, a bit more practice, and when I say you, I mean me, you'd actually be able to load up pretty quickly. Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another episode of Zawonka. So carrying on from last episode, we're just underway with our next rotation of planting. So we've got some carrots going in, we've got some potatoes going in, we've got some canola planted ready to go. So we're just going to go out and play our fields 50 and 51. Yeah, so we're just going to play out fields 50 and 51 in preparation for some more um, carrots. So obviously they're getting a bit low at the moment. Okay, let's get this guy lowered. Now we also need to get proper, get prepared for our um, oil mill. So we're going to go clear the area that we're going to utilize for that. Um, I'm going to switch out to the bigger... Uh, vegetable cedar, which is or vegetable planter, which is back down at the main farm. So we'll drop this guy off here. Cruise on over. So we do need to grab some seed. So we'll grab some seed on the way through. Should have a bag just here. So I'll switch that to carrots. So yeah, the plan is now to because we've got the colossus harvesters. Um, we're going to go expanding our farmland uh, as much as we can manage. And we are going to, yeah, really sort of expand our productions as well. So we've already we've purchased the potato factory. So we've loaded that up with some potatoes. Okay, we haven't got any soil map data on that, so I'll purchase that later on. But I think for now, we are pretty well under control. So let's go and grab the Lizard T-Rex. So the forestry mulcher and we're going to go clear the area for the oil mill. So let's go and do that now. So we're just going to lease this. Okay. Position blocked. Okay, let's try over here. Alright, while that's happening, let's check on the animals just quickly. So a couple of Angus, almost ready to go. How's our slurry looking? So our slurry's getting up there. So we started to utilize the slurry for fertilization. Um, doesn't go very far. So I'm wondering if it's gonna be a long-term strategy or a short-term strategy. We'll see, we'll soon see. We may have to come up with a bit of a plan for that. Uh, we've got plenty of soup stockpiled. So we're getting a nice uh, oh, we're pretty much maxed out. No, are we? No, we're not. So I think we can store about 50,000 litres, maybe 45,000 litres of each variety. Um, we're doing our little triple stack method with this guy here. So we're, we're still persevering with the manual loading. It's just a little bit easier. Um, with mixed goods. Cows, I think we're okay for hay. Yep. Okay, our T-Rex is in position. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this area here of all these trees and we're going to put the oil mill in here. So I've tested this out. Seems to go all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a time lapse on, sit back, relax, and I'll see you in a few minutes. There we go, made pretty, well, pretty short work of that area. So let's get this moved off. And then we're gonna put down a concrete pad and then we're gonna start leveling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it. Cause I did this before and the game froze. 
and I lost my progress so all right so what I like to do is just quickly fly over the area so, so you can see some of the trees are still showing as being there however they've been removed but that'll that'll resolve itself over time okay what I'm gonna do is throw down some asphalt in the general area of where the building is gonna go Probably around this area here and then starting sort of from the middle grab the leveling tool go out nice and big and then just tap level until the money runs out And then just start moving that around a little bit. So you can see that that's now leveled off in the middle. So if we just push it sort of out and about a little bit. I think this is probably going to be pretty sufficient, to be honest. Ah, we've got a rogue tree still there, so let's go sort him out. So hopefully that doesn't ruin our leveling. It should be okay, but... You've got to make sure what you get all the stumps to, otherwise... You'll never be able to get it perfectly flat. Jeez, I'm glad I saw that when I did. Okay, let's see if I can level this off. Oh, hopefully this will work. No. Oh, God. What a stitch up. Actually, I think I saved it. Oh, that's super annoying. Um, and there's another tree just here too. Oh man, what a ball lake. The joys of landscaping. Okay, so we've got that one. Okay. What I'm going to try and do to salvage this is I'm going to move the concrete pad over just a little bit. And I'm going to try and level that off later. So if I come back into landscaping level. So we're just going to cut into this area a bit more. Go to about here. That's where the issue is. Okay, I think we're pretty good. All right, let's throw some paint on it. So this just helps to distinguish the area a little bit better and spot any issues if there are any. Okay, cool. All right, let's res restore this edge back to grass. Stitched up by a bloody tree. Can't believe it. Okay, let's see if we can... What I'm going to try first is soften. Yeah, so that's fixed it.
Yeah, so what we're trying to do is smooth out this area and get rid of that. Because obviously it wouldn't let me level over it. So basically once it's once it's recognized that there's an issue there in the game engine, generally speaking on console, it's, you can't recover from it. It's basically going to be a bit of an issue. So let's jump out here and walk the area. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's still pronounced, but we've still got the built-up area just here. And then that we can smooth out later. All right, so that's not too bad. Somewhat salvaged. All right, let's place this oil mill down. It's about been it's been about 15 episodes in the making, but we're finally here. Um, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it towards the back area, probably about there, I think. Toggle snapping on, so we get a nice crisp 90 degree angle. And I reckon probably about there. Cool. All right. So that's what I'll do for now. But then I'll come back in. And I've got a bit of room here if I want to put some other buildings in. I'll come in and landscape it later on. Yeah, I've really pushed it pretty close to that edge. So that's good. And then obviously this is where all the action happens with the pallet spawning, etc. Alright, let's go and save it. Alright, let's check in on our other workers. So I think there was a couple of issues. Yep, yeah, of course there was. I mean, they've only got like 400 acres of field to drive around in. Yeah, they still have to collide. Alright, what has happened here? Okay, good. All right, so let's get field 50 plowed up. And we'll get ready to chuck some carrots in there as well. Okay, so this should be fine. Let's make sure they get underway. Cool. All right, carrots going in. Pallets to move. All right, this is the one we want. So let's drop this header off. Okay, let's go drop our oil off and we'll set that to distributing. I mean, it's unrealistic, but it's very handy that this thing can move so quickly. Okay, cool. So that'll unload. Beautiful. So it only takes 144,000 litres of canola. I would have thought it would take a bit more. Okay, canola is maxed out. So I'm going to set that to distributing. So that should now send it to our... Potato factory. Okay, cool. And potato chips. So we could probably really start to look to get in, involved with sunflowers actually, because that'll give us another oil. Okay, that's set to storing. Cool. Alright, moving along nicely. Alright, how many more liters of product do we have in here? 65,000. Okay, so that's going to be unloading for a little bit longer just yet. Make sure we're out of the pallet distribution zone. Okay, all good. All right, let's return this forestry mulch. I think we're done with that. All right, least items, return, yes. Okay. All right, we've got some bailing we need to do. Let's check in on our seeding. So that is definitely gonna take a while. Um, all right, what I think we should probably do at the moment is load up some soup and go and sell it. So we'll get this guy out of the way. Jump into the big guy. And we'll... Actually, one of our workers is finished. Which is this guy. Of course he had to miss a little bit. Let's, let's just get this done. Alright, so we've got a def definitely got a few more fields we can get some carrots into. Alright, let's have a look at the the big map, see what we've got on, so okay, we've got some seeding going in some seeding cool, alright let's go load up some of these guys alright, I'm going to throw some music on 
and let's get to loading. I think we'll do one more stack and then we'll go and grab our, actually what we'll do, is we'll go and grab the, this guy, send him over on a worker, so let's send him to just there, so once he turns up we'll go and sell these, sell these pallets of soup, so it's not going to be a full truck by any means, but just enough to get us by. Now obviously that loading method was working pretty well until I kind of stuffed it up. Okay. So I think if you had a bit, a bit more practice, and when I say you, I mean me, you'd actually be able to load up pretty quickly. I mean that was only really a couple of minutes. And if you can get them to spawn directly, you know, d directly in line with where you are, like that without having to wait too long um, it would further speed things up you can kind of use the bottom of the pallet of a little, the little fork bottom of the pallet forklift thing for lack of a better word to sort of push them into position sketchy but okay that is doing some weird stuff right there okay let's see if I can't salvage this I'm gonna try and write, write that up okay cool that worked all right where is our truck Okay, didn't even make it five meters. Geez, that's handy. All right, I'm just gonna drive this over. All right, here we are, let's get hooked up. So we've got about, I don't know, maybe $120,000 worth. Okay, cool. So pretty good, pretty good spread really. All right, let's go and check the prices quickly. Now the suit prices are pretty stable, so so high in June of 3,369 and low of 3,276, so really negligible in my opinion. Alright, well that seems like a good stopping point, so we'll go and get these guys sold. We'll carry on with our jobs. Um, we'll fix up this little bit of a pallet mess that we've got going on here. Um, and then we'll come in for the next episode and go from there. So thanks very much for watching guys, really appreciate it. Uh, leave, leave, me, leave me a comment below with your thoughts on the series, how you're enjoying it and um, we'll go from there. All right, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.